it's time to see what's coming out today for our media partner, the Baltimore Banner. As you mentioned earlier, today is National Voters Registration Day. And this morning, we're talking to the ba Banner's Hallie Miller about young voters in Maryland. Yes, Hallie, good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning, Meg. Good morning, Sina. So what can explain the difference between the rate of teens registering to vote in Maryland versus other states? So researchers at the University of Maryland Center for Democracy and Civic Engagement found that there's policies that have been in place in Maryland starting around 2010 that have really worked to get more of these youngest voters registered. And that starts when they're 16. Maryland allows 16 year olds to pre-register. And that's something that's happened over the last couple of years. And they also allow people to start registering to vote or pre-registering to vote when they get their driver's licenses. And that plus some several other policies that have been enacted since around 2010, they say have really upped the percentages of Maryland youth voters. Wow. And talk to us about the impact of these young voters. Do you think they could ultimately decide any of the races in Maryland? That's certainly something that the researchers I spoke to will be looking at this year. There are around 78,000 18 year olds in Maryland. Some of these races that we're going to be watching this year, including the race for Maryland's open U.S. Senate seat, could be decided by a few thousand votes if, if you believe some of the polling that has come out of those races. So certainly something to watch this year. Wow. And what additional research is needed to really understand these unregistered young voters? So as promising as the study looks with two thirds of 18 year olds registered to vote and about a third of 16 and 17 year olds pre-registered to vote, there is more work needed, as you said, to understand who's not registering to vote as a youth. And one thing that researchers told me they're gonna be looking at is how they can reach people who don't ultimately get driver's licenses and don't ultimately have cars, what they can do to reach out and make sure they also have the same opportunities to register or pre-register to vote. All right, Hallie, well, thank you for joining us and sharing these insights with us. We appreciate it. Thank you. And if you'd like to learn more about this story or others from the Baltimore Banner, head to thebaltimorebanner.com.